Hey guys, so I know I haven't made like a video in a long time. Um, I just don't want to like be like complaining about my eating disorder and being like, oh, I haven't purged in like 10 days and be like all bragging and stuff because that's like stupid. Um, but pretty much this channel is just me like talking to you guys about what happens with my eating disorder in my life. It's not really me complaining, it's just talking about it because you know it's my coping skill it's me just explaining like how things are so it's not me like trying to like get attention or anything like that um it's just one of my coping skills so if you think i'm looking for attention i'm not i'm just making videos because it helps me um and i don't have a counselor anymore because she um, the counseling place closed down, so it's kind of my only, like, venting thing that I can do, so, yeah, unless I want to, like, you know, like, journal and stuff, but I don't, so, well, sometimes I do, but it's just a lot easier to talk than to be like, you know, type, 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 or write, 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 and sometimes I'm too, like, lightheaded to write or anything, like, right now I feel, like, weird because I haven't eaten anything, and, like, I would eat something, but, like, we don't have anything that would necessarily be safe for me. So, if I would eat, like, a hot dog or something, that might make me freak out, and then it'd be bad. So, I'm just gonna drink coffee, because, you know, hopefully my mom will get something soon, and then everything will be okay. Um, but, yeah. So, this is a really long update video, but it's just over the past month. Because I'm like, okay, I'm just going to do little segments of my life and then I'm going to put it together as a video. And I think that's a good idea. Because then it's not me just talking about random events that come up in my head while I make a video. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Tell me guys what you think. It's like 20 minutes long. Next time it won't be that long because I will, like, make a video sooner. And it won't be like, yeah, so yeah, I'm going now. Bye. You know you have a problem when you can't keep down a protein bar because you feel like you just had five candy bars when you just had a freaking... Let a girl want to eat my poop? Oh, shucks, Charles! It looks like we got a flimsy one over here! I'm hiding my face, but I really want food right now. But I'm too full. Like, I'm thinking about food, but I can't eat it because, like... It feels unappetizing to eat, but the food just looks so good that I'm gonna die. I'm not sorry for being rude, but yeah, okay. I think I should make an update. Who writes an update? Oh, yes. You want the update? You want the update? You want an update? You want an update, huh? Oh, yeah. You want an update? Okay. So, anyways, my mom has been getting on my nerves a lot lately, and it's for like really stupid reasons. Like she'll just come out of her room, and I'll see her, and then she'll be like, "Good morning, Lauren," like that. I'll be like, "Good morning." Like, um, I was listening to a voicemail because she was trying to find my phone for me, and it was like recording, and I was like. This recipe calls for sausage, not pork. And I said it in a really, like, mean way and degrading, like, unappreciative. And I was like, I thought that was my mom talking, but no, it was me. So, yeah, I can be a bitch. Like, oh my god, I was horrible. And I listened to it at night, and I usually get really guilty about, like, what I've done throughout the day at night because that's when my thoughts come in. And so I was just, like, sitting there, like, oh my god, and my mom was asleep, so I couldn't apologize or anything. Um, so there's evidence that I can be a bitch, and then I recorded my mom talking, and just, like, freaking out, like, okay, so she posted a status because she was excited that her boyfriend's gonna be coming over, and she's like, Lauren, and I thought I was in trouble, so I came in like, what? She's like, like, my status, like, I'm like, she kept on saying it, and then I didn't like it yet, and I'm like, patience, and then I liked it because she wanted me to, and then she posted, she commented on it, and I didn't know someone else commented on it, and it was, like, something, like, excited, and, like, it was just weird, like, just, uh, no, so I was like, 
in all caps, Mom, delete that comment, lol, and, and she came into my room, delete that comment, that is rude, and she freaked out, and then I got some of it on video, but it wasn't a lot, and it didn't really show how much she freaked out, like, when she gets mad, she will just ignore all logic and just stay with her point, she doesn't care about anything else but her stupid point. Gail, it was nice. There's nothing wrong with what I said. I thought you said that because I was no. like, like on like, like on like, like on like, and no. then I thought you said that. I said that. no one deserves great things more than you, Foxy. I'm it was sorry, nice I didn't her. see it. Well, can you delete that? That's rude. I did. I deleted it already. Why are you freaking out about because this? Because that is rude. Mom, I said that because I thought you were saying that to me, and I didn't want you to look bad. Thank you. Why do you get so defensive all the time? Why? Because you hurt my feelings horribly. When you binge for more than like an hour, your body's like, it absorbs calories. And that's very obvious because you can feel different from when you didn't, when you weren't eating, so. Yeah, I weighed 94.8 or 2, 94.2 pounds post-purge, which is freaking crazy and, like, it's logical, like, what? You can't just, like, you can't, you cannot, that's, that's, I didn't weigh myself that morning because, you know, mom was home, I didn't want her to be like, oh, you're weighing yourself, and I didn't want, I just was like, just, I didn't want to weigh myself, I was, very anxious, and I was like, oh my god, it's gonna be hot, so I did it, um, yeah, I've been maintaining a lower weight, which is good, because I want to lose weight, as who doesn't, that has an eating disorder, except, you know, people, some people, they want to, that don't know, like, my body image has been better, but my eating disorder is getting worse, um, so, yeah, my mom made me pay for food, she made me pay for fruit snacks, pasta sauce and like the other things I was gonna pay for myself but like the fruit snacks and like applesauce and pasta sauce um yeah those are things I was gonna make her pay for because like dude that's that's healthy it's not bad like the fruit snacks were a dollar for a package and they had like six little pouches in them 57 calories in each one so like why not um yeah I'm sorry about my face I I hate it a lot I don't like my face it's, it's getting worse the acne is getting worse i'm trying to fix it i know i look like shit but you know when i wear makeup that's what makes it get bad um and i know a lot of it has to do with purging but i don't know i just whenever i'm breaking out i can like i feel it like i can feel the zits on my face it's so disgusting like i can literally feel if i touched myself blind i would know exactly where they are because i can feel them itching and it drives me crazy and it's not going to get better unless I get something for it. And that's not going to happen anytime soon. And it's just like, ugh. No, like, ugh. It's so frustrating. And my mom is just, mm, I don't. She talks with this really passive voice. Like, good morning, Lauren. Like that. It's so fucking annoying. I just want to smack her whenever she talks like that. I'll be like, can Kara spend the night? And she's like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like that. It's so fucking annoying as fuck. She's like, Subway's a trigger food for me, so I don't want anything from there. I'm just like, oh. I was gonna get Subway the other day, and I couldn't because she made me pay for most of the groceries, which, all my groceries that I got, and then she bought two dollars of applesauce. That's all she got for me. And then she got herself fruit and yogurt and a can of tuna and mayonnaise. It just retarded because the fuck. Like, you can't live on that. Ugh, eating disorders are just so fucked up. I know I'm always ranting, but really, I'm not, I'm, I don't see any point of making a positive video because this is like things that I need to talk about. And I don't want to be like breaking, like, oh my gosh, I didn't binge for like seven days in a row. Like, no, I, that's not even how it is. That's, that, that's never going to be the case. Probably not, but it's whatever. Um, unless if I go into some kind of phase where I just don't do it. I haven't binged since this morning. 
and that's very good. I woke up binged purge. I was like darn. I'm like, oh my god, this is so disgusting, and I felt gross because I knew like food stayed in me, and ugh. Um, I cleaned the toilet downstairs. It was like black with mold. It was so disgusting, and I cleaned it, and now it's all clean and like white, and you can actually like pee down there without feeling like some kind of like black spider's gonna come out and like eat your like pee or something, you know? So that's normal. But yeah. Um I know I look sickening. I my face I'm just I'm so embarrassed of my acne. I feel like it ruins like everything about me. Like see, like it just it gets worse no matter what I do. Like I change my pillowcases every three days and it's getting dark, but it's whatever. Um I don't touch my face a lot. I, I wash my face after I purge. Um, I don't like let like food get on my mouth when I'm eating. I just I feel so disgusting. It's like people can lay on their beds, not change their pillowcases for months, and then me, like I don't change my pillowcase for a day and I guess I just start getting acne because of it. But it's all because of stress and eating disorder and I don't know, maybe medication, I don't know but on the nineteenth my dad killed himself so yesterday um four years ago it affected me it still affects me and what sucks is that it didn't affect me like at all when it happened but now like four years later it's like deteriorating me like I can feel it more and it's like an ongoing feeling of sadness and missing him whereas before I didn't really think anything of it my body was like we're gonna deal with this by using food and exercise and now I'm feeling the pain and I'm my eating disorder still here because stress because mom and there's like never any food in our house because my mom is a retard and she thinks it's okay to just buy stupid things like wine and like expensive brand name tampons I know it's kind of like too much information um meals for her boyfriend stupid slutty things on ebay for herself vitamins stupid workout drinks protein bars for herself that she gets unbelievably pissed off if i have some because i'm shaking and when i get up i black out so i kind of have no option if there's no other food in the fucking house and she'll buy these stupid like you know wax there's like wax and it's scented and you put it in a little metal container and then it like makes them smell nice. Yeah, she bought like five of those a while ago and like she didn't buy any food. I'm just like, okay, there's no food in the house. Literally no food, only seasonings and flaxseed. Like what the fuck are you doing? You're buying that with your credit card. Like, she just pisses me off. I'm really tempted to live with my grandparents, but I remember um, Christmas when I came over there, I went insane, and they made me feel insane, and we always had to do things, and I was like, had to be like an extrovert, and all that stuff, but I'm not, so we're just kind of like, ugh, I just, you know, I'm just so ashamed of my eating disorder, how I, I get in this thing where I just can't stop eating, it's so hard, and it's so disgusting like you can't just it's not okay to eat a large pizza in one sitting it's that's not okay i mean that might be better than what i used to do about a week ago is order three large pizzas or four eat them all in a day and just order one pizza that day but now it's just i just i don't know i feel like i want my mom to think i'm doing better but it's hard when it's like no food in the house for me to prove myself. She just thinks I'm doing incredibly bad, like I'm some fucking cancer patient. So yeah, there's this guy, Nigel, and I kinda have this thing. Um, yeah, we're dating, and his mom likes me. This whole family's weird, like me, and my mom hates me because I'm weird. So, I like their family. I enjoy it. Their constant sarcasm of life and, you know, weird face expressions. On purpose, of course, but like, on habitat. I mean, habit. By habit, I don't know. 
but whatever. Um, I don't know, but yeah. We've been dating for like two weeks or something? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Time goes by like not. I don't know. We started talking when the day before he got suspended from school because he's silly and he did something. But it's not, it's not like bad. It's like just, it's whatever. Um, he's a non-violent person. He's really gentle and I hate when he kisses my pimples. Like, you, you don't, you don't do that. Please don't do that. That, that bugs me a lot because I'm like, you know that they're there. You can see them. And that makes them dirtier. And just, ah, uh, no. So, yeah. I don't know. I just, no. My mom, she overuses laxatives. Like, oh my god. She has this enema thing. It's so nasty. Like, you put it up your butthole. And then, I'm like, oh my, I don't even want to explain it. It's freaking nasty. I don't even, I just, ah. Uh, that's gross. She's gross. So, I'm going to go now because I just... I'm very lonely right now. I have nothing to do. I've been trying to hang out with Kara. And then I know I can hang out with like Bailey, but we haven't hung out in forever. And I don't know, it'd be awkward because I look like shit and I'm getting lightheaded again. It's just like, oh, whatever. Ugh, I haven't purged since that binge this morning. What I've kept is lots of coffee, like 32 ounces. Um, Tiny fruit snack, which was 57, and then another fruit snack, 70. Um, uh, orange apple. I just said calories, I'm sorry. Um, um, regular yogurt. So that was like 170 calories, and then big banana. So, yeah. I did a purge, had urges to purge, but I didn't. I know that sounds really stupid, like, geez, you, you want to purge after that? I don't know. I'm sorry. Not really. Whatever. <laughs> Bye. I'm eating apples, I just ate three really tiny apples, you see, like these ones, yeah, and so they're like coming up, and like, it's choking me. This is how you recover from an eating disorder, eat a pound of strawberries every night for dinner, no binging. I just ate like a pound of strawberries, okay, 
and it's coming up. It keeps on coming up like acid reflux and I really want to purge. The garbage is overflowing. That's not my fault. Well, and I'm eating. It's I'm, the big container you have on top of it that's causing it to overflow. That was your container and it fell over. It was in there. You had containers from there and you put them in there. If I believe you, that's something else. <laughs> that fetus is ready for your womb. <laughs> There's a sweat spot in the middle. <laughs> that fetus has came through her womb, so her shirt is nice and moist. <laughs> it's it's bleeding. <laughs> it's it's peeing outside of me through my belly button. <laughs> it's Tiny Tim. I love Tiny Tim. Little girl, come here. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if she has any food in here. Oh, wait, no, that's just puke. Hello, oh, nerds. Tacos, taco pizza, without the pizza dough.